We are now 10 minutes from the start of totality. If you look around, you'll see that the sunlight has gotten weaker. And if you check the shadows, they have become sharper. If you take your hands and cross your fingers in the shape of a waffle, you can project onto the ground or whatever little crescents that show you how much of the sun has been covered. It's time to find your final positions for the totality of the sun, and please try not to move during totality so that you don't disturb others. You need to continue to use your viewers to look at the sun, but just before totality begins, you can remove the viewers and just look straight up at the sun to see the diamond ring, and then the corona of the sun, the sun's atmosphere, which has a temperature of about 2,000, 2 million degrees Celsius, almost 4 million degrees Fahrenheit. It glows with its own light, but it is 1 million times fainter than the rest of the sun, and it can only be seen during a total solar eclipse. Five minutes from totality. If you watch to the southwest, you can see the shadow of the moon approaching. And as the sky gets darker, you will see two bright planets appear near the sun. Jupiter is to the upper left of the sun, the closest, and Venus is to the lower right, somewhat farther away. Two minutes until totality.
shadow of the moon racing away to the northeast. 